So welcome to week three. What we're going to be covering this week is variable selection. So the idea here is that we have a group of covariates that we think are in some way related to the response. And what we want to do is choose the covariates that are most related to the response or are best at predicting the response or that are uh, best for the interpretations of our model. And so there's multiple different ways to go about choosing the correct covariates to include in the model. I'll go so far as to say that there isn't a correct set of covariates to include in the model. Uh, we've already seen the basis for some of this, like we can use AIC to determine whether or not a variable should be included in a model. Uh, we can use, we can check the R squared values to see if that increases or decreases. Uh, but the general idea is that we have to be careful about choosing these variables. There's automated ways to do this, uh, and part of what the motivation behind this module series is, is that uh, we don't want you using them. So we're going to be very opinionated in some of these. We don't want you using p-values to uh, rule everything. P-values have a very specific place where they should be used and they should not be used elsewhere. And we don't want you using automated variable selection like forward selection or stepwise uh, or any of those sorts of things. Uh, we're going to give an argument for why you shouldn't use those. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, what you should do instead, which, spoiler alert, spoiler alert is uh, know your data, choose covariates that you think should go in your model, and then tweak it after that. Uh, so there's only a couple of lectures this week, but each one of them is a little bit more important. And I invite you to use the software that you know how to uh, fit models in and just try a bunch of things and see what happens if you include three variables in a, uh, in a regression, what happens if you remove one of those, each one by one? Um, how do you check for significance for uh, categorical variables? Uh, experiment as much as you can. The best way to learn something is by doing and then trying to teach. Uh, so do it, actually fit these models, play around with it, and then keep good notes on what worked, what happened, and keep notes as if you're teaching somebody else how to do it.